just way Dozens of the best video game players on the planet gathered at the Cobb Energy Center this weekend to battle it out for a $500,000 top prize. It was the High Res Studios Expo and Smite World Championship. You walk in and it feels like a combination of a sporting event meets a rock concert. So you've got 3,000 cheering fans with their thunder sticks. You've got five versus five, and the competitors on stage are wearing a jersey. They're, they're all equipped just like a team. They've got sponsor names like NASCAR on their chest, and they're playing this game at a really, really high skill level. 3,000 super fans, 80% who came from outside Georgia, packed the arena to watch professional video game players play. Smite was the game of choice for this competition. It's the most popular title from Alpharetta's High Res Studios. In it, teams of five players take control of mythological gods and square off. Ten teams that span the globe, representing North America, Europe, Australia, China, and Brazil, earned a ticket to the World Championship. The teams battled one another through quarter, semifinals, and the finals on stage as commentators broke down picks and gameplay with thousands of fans cheering their favorites on to victory. It, it blows people away, but if you're fans of traditional sports, this is just like that, but video games played at the highest level. I've never screamed so loud in my life just for one game, and it was huge. They may have lost, but Luminosity is going to get next year. Hutchinson attended to cheer on Luminosity, one of the game's most popular teams. And much like famous players from other sports, these eSports superstars met fans, posed for photos, and signed autographs. For Hutchinson, who was part of a contingent from the Hampton High School Smite team, meeting one of the game's best players was a memorable moment. Jeff Hindla, he's my idol, and because, like he's a huge support player, and it was great to meet him. It was almost like a dream come true. The team features John Salter, a.k.a. Barracuda, from Cartersville, too. Like his teammates, Salter makes a living gaming. You can actually earn a living playing video games. They are professional video game players. So between their prize take home, between sponsorship, and between streaming, which basically means they film their practice sessions and live stream it over the internet, and they make additional money that way, they earn a living by playing video games. And earning a good living is exactly what the members of NRG Esports Smite team are doing. They captured the 2017 Smite World Championship title, repeating the team's victory from the 2016 tournament. Congrats to them. Up next for High Res Studios comes new games from the Smite theme, Smite Tactics, and Smite Rivals. Nelson Hicks, WSBTV.com.